What is up, crawler fans, RC enthusiasts, and social media surfers? I'm your boy Josh with Texoma RC, and we've got Bella Bronco versus Anu Badas on the rocks today, round two. Here we go at scale OHV Park, Shawnee Creek, of course, here in Denison, Texas. It's a beautiful day. Let's try to run that hot, as continuous as but possible. we're in Texas. And that's what it is, man. I mean, Just gotta suck it up. Way. Let's go play on the rocks, dude. No crying or freaking about it, dude. By the way, we have the Freedom Crawl coming up July 2nd. Talk about hot. Hopefully it's gonna be nice out for us. But July 2nd, the Freedom Crawl, 10 to 2, Shawnee Whoa. Creek, Scale OHB Park. Come play with us here in Denison, Texas. It's right on the Texoma Lake. So if you want to go play in the lake afterward, you got kids or something, come out and play with us. It would be a great time. We'd love to see you, man. That will be our first meetup on the rocks again, July 2nd, Saturday, 10 to 2. Come see us and play. All right. And also, dude, if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to these videos. It would help me out. I sure do appreciate it. Also, Amazon affiliate link will be in the box below. Okay, enough talking, dude. That's a lot of freaking talking. We've got cars going on, oh the rocks. Look at Bella. She is beautiful. I love the Let's Bronco. Go. So fun. Can't wait to show you what I did to her. I love it like this. I do kind of miss it already, but <laughs> at the same time, I don't because it's freaking awesome at the same time. I guess I'll just have to have two of them. Gee whiz. Here we go, oh, Bella. What? Not that uh, Anu is uh, any Bella, less than, dude. Uh, by the way, again, Anu is it's just as changed as Bella is changed. We went crazy. There will be a round three fight uh, coming up. Uh, at least uh, one go, more ahead. fight. Well, come on, dude. These are just new guys. They're going to have 100 fights, dude. Get ready for all the videos. It's going to be rad. Go, go Sorry, on. dude. That's Let's just what go. we do. We do video after video, and we just keep showing the rocks, dude. Because oh, why? We are rock crawlers. <laughs> we are making these things perform. Yeah, we true, went from dude, stock true. to Let's champion, go, dude. Let's oh, go. my gosh. Wait till you see them. LCG, Max, Comp Cut. Great and job, Bella. Bella. Come on, dude. It's going to be all great. Right. All right, dude. That was a nice little up by Bella. Uh, coming down here, we are going to end up cutting out a little bit. This is a super rough section, one of the harder sections just to make it through. Uh, there's just cracks and crevices and big chunky rocks to get caught on. Uh, so here you see uh, Anu on, turning here, around, uh, coming up, up, and right, making easy work up. of the up Let's once go, he got Bella. lined up for it. So let's go, Bella. Come on, let's, let's go, do it, Bella. dude. Looks Not like a good, looking like we're on right a good there. track good here, job. looking come good. And then here we go. Come, come on, on, girl. Oh, come on, Bella. Oh, he's getting grip forward on Forward and backward. Stick. Forward and backward. <laughs> Just can't get the grip on those tires. Uh, by the way, uh, these were the stock we foams. The, these tires are a little hard. They do Very hook good. up really stick well. I do here. like them. Uh, however, today for the run that I filmed, ah! uh, I. Uh, Ended up doing a chamfer on the outside of the foams to see if that would help. I loved it. It was so much, uh, just just that much better. Uh, just because these have a good hard lug on the outside, it's a hard corner edge. And so uh, to have uh, no foam behind it and let that flex a little more, I thought that it did a lot better for little things like this and whatever bending around rocks. Uh, I thought that it did a lot better. So again, that was a chamfer on the foam. I just took the foams out. Uh, I cut a, just a, the outside corner and the inside corner and then put it back together and it seemed to do really well. If you don't know anything about cutting foams, I'm sure there are hundreds of videos of racers and rockers uh, and what they do to their foams to get them ready. I will have to do a video on that myself, just what I did and what I have tried and what my thoughts are on it. So. Anyways, we'll have to do that, but today we are just running them stock, so we'll just keep talking about that. Stop talking about things that aren't in this video, buddy. More to come, though. All right, dude, Bella is struggling, dude. Again, this is just chunky. It's just really hard. Uh, this would definitely be easier with a bigger tire. Uh, just trying to force it up here and just struggling. Come on, Bella. Let's go. This is one thing right there. 
Oh, oh is it? got it, dude. Nice job, Bella. Okay, here we go. Mr. Anu, Cousin Badas. Let's go. Make an easy work. Flexing. By the way, if you look at Craig's cars, they are set up a little bit different than mine. Uh, he likes a little bit longer travel, loose front end, and then a tighter rear end. Kind of opposite of the way uh, most of my cars are, uh, especially compared to the way Bella is set up here, and then especially even more so the way she is set up now. She's extremely tight. We are running the Mountain Springs from Endura in Force Troop. Yes, sir. It is badass. Just wait. Ooh, that's a really pretty rock, dude. Let's get the nice, good focus on the rock. That's rad. Great job. Oh, by the way, there's no more sound. I don't know what happened to it. The whole rest of the video, it's just you and me, folks. I could do the videos, uh, the sounds. Sorry, dude. I'm not going to do that. It's really annoying. But I don't know what else to do, dude. I didn't want to delete the video. Uh, I hate when that happens. It's just disconnect in my uh, app or something. I don't know. Uh, I try to check it, but when it happens in the middle uh, of filming, uh, there's not much I can do, dude, uh, other than just I should pay attention and check every once in a while to make sure that it is capturing sound because it does show it on the screen, dadgummit. But in the sun, it's hard to see the screen, so I could just make excuses all day, or I could just get it done in the future. So I apologize. I'll get it done in the future. But this one is just you and me, dude. Just we're hanging out watching a uh, silent movie uh, about uh, STX 24s, dude. Little baby rock crawlers and seeing them come to life, uh, be going from stock cars to freaking champs, dude. Look at this. I love these. Uh, I love the tires. I love those rims, by the way. Uh, by the way, those rims are adding uh my estimation almost plus four so at least three to maybe even four millimeters and then <clears throat> the spacers are another four but they could even potentially be five when you compared it to i compared it to a trio uh plus five and it's actually wider than the trio plus five so whatever that means you know it was labeled plus four millimeters uh, but uh, it's wider than a trio plus five millimeter hex extension. So whatever that means. So it's actually quite wide. Uh, I loved Bella in this mode, in this form. Uh, she was beautiful before I started chopping up the fenders and the body. But uh, that's awesome blade of grass, dude. Great job. Great filming. Come on, Bella. Rear end up, dude. Uh, so, by the way, if you are driving these Broncos, uh, the you, you know with the big hard top in the rear end, uh, it's just a new experience, man. It's a lot of fun uh, just to learn how to drive with such a heavy rear end up high, uh, you know, because it just wants to tip over uh, when you start to incline, and so you kind of got to learn how to jump it and 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 bump it over things, and uh, also when the rear end, like right there, that was really sketch. Uh, just when the when you're in a decline and the rear end would tip sideways, uh, you would come uh, come up and over a lot of times. So, uh, anyways, <sighs> but dude, in this configuration, Bella is doing awesome. We are just still running. Uh, what are we running? Let me see here. Let's pull it up. Come on, dude. What shocks do we got on there? Uh, I think these may be the stock stock shocks in the front just in a just stock spring uh come on bella there we go good work had to work it so yeah we were running the stock shock just in the stock uh well no it's in the the shock mount so it's so the front end is sitting lower than normal but it's just the regular shock and then the rear is still the 43 millimeter uh endura shocks uh, but running the spring mod, and so they're pulled down probably four coils, uh, maybe five in the rear end to keep it nice and tight uh, and suck down. So, but it will flex out, uh, as you can see, every once in a while, uh, although it's limited by the body still. So this was just too hard for Bella, too big a jump. Uh, when you have that big butt in the air, or big, you know, top, and uh, in, this, in this situation, there's just no way uh, it can pull up. So we went ahead and uh, we're gonna have to uh, give it the old 
winch action here. Come on, there we go. Nice winching. Thanks for buddies. They're looking great, dude. All right, man. Cruising right along. Oh, dude. So good. Bella Bronco and Anu Badas. Dude. Hey, dudes. There's Flexicon, Crevice, and Maximus hanging out, watching the show, rooting them on. Looking good, guys. Keep it hanging. Keep it flexing, dude. Let's go. Keep it on the road there, Bella. On the rocks. Got to keep the tires on the rocks. Here we go. Up and over. Again, these are uh, 54 millimeter. Uh, I looked at them. I think they're called like every name. They're like mud terrain, all terrains. <laughs> Literally, I believe they are the mud terrain, all terrains. So these are 54 millimeter tires from Endura. Uh, they do really well. They Again, they are a bit stiffer, but they uh, are the second grippiest tire that I have run. Although I think they're going to become the third grippiest tire from Mandura that I'm running uh, after running the 58s. Just feeling them. They feel amazing. Uh, number one uh, that I have run uh, is the... Uh, sorry, they would be number two. They're about to become number three. Uh, number one is the Endura 62 Mud Terrains. The big lug. Those things are awesome. Very, very good. Uh, uh, I had success with the 56s that were on max. I enjoyed them, um, and they did perform well. Uh, it is kind of fun. Uh, they just have just, they don't have quite the grip uh, in the rubber, so they do slide a little bit, but they did perform well uh, for the most part. A lot of fun to drive on, but, uh, you know, not the greatest on the rocks, just not the grippiest uh, of all tires. Again, they did well. But they're just when it comes to you know talking about grip, they don't come close when uh, to some of these other tires. So I'm not talking crap about the 56s that were on Max. Pretty darn good tire, uh, but it's going to be behind uh, these 54s, uh, the mud terrain all terrains that are on Bella, and then uh, those are also behind the 62s, the mud terrains, mat or crawler master tires. I believe is what they are. Uh, great tire, a lot of fun. <clears throat> the big lug is something also to get used to. <clears throat> In certain situations, uh, they may not offer uh, the most grip. Uh, just with that big lug, they can begin to skip and to chug, uh, and you do lose grip. So they're not not the absolute most grip ever. But as far as the Endura tires that I've run so far, minus the 58s. They have great grip. Here we go. We had to get another winch right here. This transition, again, that little spot right there where the back dropped off uh, and went to the side. That was a just that was a no-no with Bella and the hard top. Uh, that's just it's going over. The weight is transferred in the worstest place, and uh, that's going over, dude. And so, but not anymore. We don't have that problem. We can carry a back tire, no problem now, dude. Uh, easy. Uh, wait till you see it. Ah, let's go. Dude. I know I already talked about it, dude, but I am looking forward to you guys coming out. Anybody who is in the area, I heard Sinister Customs X24 might be making it down from Kansas. Dude, any of you people up in Kansas, hit Sinister up. Or anybody in between here in Oklahoma or anything like that, Hit up Sinister, dude. Y'all carpool. Save a little bit of money. Dude, come see us. Come hang out. Bring your toys. Bunch of boys. Maybe girls. Boys and girls are cool. Everybody can play on the rocks. Anybody, you got a car. You just like to watch cars. Come watch them, dude. It's a lot of fun. The guys will be awesome. A lot of cool dudes. Uh, so even just from the area. But some of you guys said you're going to travel, dude. I would love to meet you guys. That'd be freaking awesome. I would love to see your cars. Everybody come play. July 2nd, Freedom Crawl. Yes, sir, let's get it done. Let's show our freedom to go outside and play. Yes, sir, not that that's the end of freedom, but you know what I'm saying? It's just a demonstration, dude. Demonstration of freedom that we can go play on the rocks is 
big boys. <laughs> <laughs> let's go dude we got four more minutes we can do it hope you all are enjoying this i hope you all stick around for all these you know i spend all this time i narrate these videos to hang out with you guys uh so you're not just watching some boring deal to give you any knowledge that i have to try to give you a little bit of entertainment something better than what's on tv dude come on this has got to be better than pretty much everything on tv dude freaking bella bronco and Anu Badass, dude. Those gladiators are Badass for sure, bro. Dude. And these freaking Broncos are proving to be Badass as well. Uh, if you didn't know, Badass is code for badass. Just saying. <laughs> little, little code. Little punny, dude. Come on, man. Surely you got it. I'm sorry I had to ruin it. Come on, great job, great down, great job. Can we make it back up? Let's go, Bella. Let's go, dude, can you make it? This is a little sketchy area right here. Oh, and we got it. This is one of those places where the rear end is low. Oh, nice step up, good job. Made it look easy, Bella. Here we go, riding it. Can we do that same thing? No, if I tried exactly what he did, I was going over for sure. I had to take it over and just take it square down. Could not take the step up on the driver rear. Here we go, looking good, dude. Love this little section. I love trying to take the rock up and make it look cool, just like this. Great job, I called it. Oh, looking good. A little army crawl coming through there and make it look tight. Let's go, Bella. You know, I love Maximus and the smoothness of Maximus and Crevice, uh, but I'm also getting used to the tightness of an LCG ride. Uh, it's totally different. It's like a little freaking bug. I didn't used to like it until you drive it and you're like, oh, that's why those guys' cars look that way because it's freaking rad. So it doesn't look smooth. Uh, doesn't always necessarily perform better uh, per all situations, uh, but it is definitely gonna be ultimate performance going uphill and, uh, and side hill as well, probably also downhill but we gotta work on some other things. And uh, also, dude, flexing, it's so awesome to watch the thing flex around, dude. I can't just give it up, dude. So we'll have some comp cars, some super tights, and we'll just keep our flexies, dude. Uh, they're a lot of fun, too, and we got them to where they're pretty capable, dude. Wait till you see Maximus. He's a pretty much freaking point and shoot type of guy. At this point, you just point him in the direction, pull the trigger, and let him eat, bro. Freaking monstrous. Oh my gosh, it's too fun, dude. I had to cut the videos short just because I, well, first of all, I only had one battery, and second of all, uh, dude, I could just sit there and drive Maximus all day. Holy crap, dude, so good. Here we go, dude, this little section right here is just tur turbo, uh, with the little rocks, with the little landslide that has happened through, coming through here, rock slide. Uh, let's go split the V. Here we go. Split it up looking pretty. Oh Great job, dude Beautiful Bella beautiful clinical dude Dude put it on a clinic. There's I guess there's a difference between putting on a clinic and clinical, you know clinical sounds like you got a real issue, dude <laughs> It's clinical dude. Oh my gosh, dude stay away Here we go See, this is one of those things, dude. Uh, I used to think that, um, you know, that the gladiators needed to be in their own class, uh, that they needed, as far as competitions go, that you should have a long wheelbase and a short wheelbase. Uh, but it's not always the case uh, that a long wheelbase is better. Uh, it is better, but uh, in certain situations, but there are times where uh, that the rocks will line up uh, in favor of the short wheelbase. So, ah, uh, come on, Craig, you gotta split that, buddy. Anyways, here we go. That's enough. Thanks for watching, guys. I sure do appreciate y'all. This is Josh Texomar. See, peace.